Almighty, thank you for bringing us together today to do what we do best with the gifts that you've given us. We thank you for the passage from day one to the point that we are now. Thank you for everybody that showed up today to go out on the stage and reunite and show people a reintroduction and rebirth. All these things in the name we pray, Jesus Christ, amen. Christ, amen. My first introduction to hip hop music was from my older brother. My parents were very religious, so every time they would catch me listening to it, they would confiscate it or break it or kick my ass, whatever they do. So eventually it just became like a real big problem. So the next best thing to listening to it was creating it. So I started writing at 13. No, I need everybody to put your hands to the center right now. And on the count of three, bounce, one, two, three, let's go. As nine years old, my mother had passed. I was in a place where, you know, my dad got remarried and they had to make the decision to leave Detroit and go to New Mexico. That was culture shock for me, you know. Not really understanding death at that time of, you know, your mother and then trying to adapt to this new place and all these feelings and it was very difficult and trying so I was very angry when I was a kid. Why do you hate me? I came from nothing plus when tears you did not create me. How can you doubt me? You don't know shit about me. There'd be no West Coast without me. So by 14 years old I was on my own. You know I had been in enough trouble where I had become ward of the state. I turned to the street and I turned to my homies, I turned to my friends. At the time, crack cocaine was the number one hustle. We got real good at it. But nothing ever good came from that. I used to hustle raw, I used to hunt the streets, I used to hustle heat, I grinded all my beef. Most of my homies is gone, rested in peace. Some I never see release from custody of police, but me. I remember the day I left New Mexico. I gave Lamar, the, the dope, I was like, man, you want this shit, man? I'm going to California and try to do this music shit. He said, you crazy. You're going to be right back here. It was like, I'm going to go because this is what I need to do. Rearrange the whole game, what about from the sound? Won't even say your own name when I come around. Say your top, but remain from the underground. To the team, and we all in the family. That transition was rough, man. I remember there was times when I would be sitting in an apartment and I would have a candle and a can of chunky soup that I bought for like 78 cents from the store. Open that bitch, let that shit sit on the candle for about two hours. The bottom will get hot. You gotta keep stirring the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. What up, y'all? It's your boy X to the Z Exhibit broadcast live from the Halo 4 promo video shoot. I'm excited about just running around with some guns because that's just who I am. So uh, let's get this shit started. Initially, when I signed to the production deal, the deal, it wasn't an exorbitant amount of money, but at the time, I wasn't making any money. So when it came time to get my advance, the dude handed me a paper bag with like, $15,000 in it underneath the table, like, here you go. And I was like, wow. I did it, because I made some legal money. And that was a big deal to me. I went home, and I remember I was living in this apartment before Make It Rain was, was popular. I threw that shit around my apartment, I'm like, yo, I can make a living off this. I don't have to shoot nobody, I don't have to steal nothing, I don't have to rock nothing up, I don't have to risk my life or freedom just to live. I was big. Yeah, to all of my friends, enemies, and affiliates. Burn the back wood, burn it down to your fingertips. Let the whole world recognize this accomplishment. You couldn't have told me none of this back in 96. The ability to crawl up out of bottomless pits. This is our time, I'm spending mine rocking this bitch. So it's very hard for me not to be humble. I'm from the bottom, I've been to the top, I've touched bottom again. And I probably hit the top two more times and hit the bottom again. Who gives a fuck? But it's my ride. And I'm doing it the way I want to do it. Uh, right now, we're about to start so ladies, the first shot of Up Out The Way featuring E-40. 
I haven't put out a record for six years. I had a real personal tragedy. Xavier Kingston was my second born son and he passed away prematurely. He lived for 13 days and then he, he passed. Not only was it devastating to me, but to my girl, come on man. And this is something that you just can't just up and just, oh, well, guess I better go tour. It ain't, it ain't like that, you know? So sometimes you have to disconnect yourself from that. Because I was on a pace. I was releasing an album every two years. I was taking off six to eight months at a time. I was traveling everywhere, anywhere, calling home. Hey, how you guys doing? Then that's about it. Then I don't see them for three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. I'm out here busting my ass, talking about a hustler for my family, and my family is in disarray. Fuck this. Because some people are super people and can juggle all these things and do all this shit. Well, I'm not that guy. So I feel like the decade that I gave so far to hip hop in my life, compared to the, the short amount of time that I took to make sure what's really important to me gets handled correctly, I think that's a pretty good trade-off. I waited until it was all said and done. Everybody said what they gotta say, you have fun, Okay, now, shut the fuck up and listen to what my side of the story is. And that's what this album came from. Napalm is the best representation of me as an artist. I've done great records, but I'm very proud of Napalm, simply because everything that I've learned getting up to this point in life and in music uh, has been utilized on this album. I want to put this album on in a room full of niggas that hate my fucking guts. And at the end of the record, they gonna say, man, fuck Exhibit, but that shit was tight. This is that album. So what's the meaning of life? What's the meaning of life? Man, I don't know. I don't know. Cause all I know is when I grab the microphone and they let me up on the stage, grand larceny, cause I'm still in the show. What's the meaning of life? What's the meaning of life? Man, I couldn't tell you. I can't tell you. All I know is if you spend too much time without being refined, then your life will be described as a failure. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to get into, you have to be consistent. You can't be a sometime I'm on it, sometimes I'm off it. it. You can't do it like that. You have to love it. You have to eat shit, fuck, drink, whatever that is you're doing, you would rather be doing that than breathing. If you could do that and not breathe, you would do it. That's how much passion you have to have about what you are going to do. And when you love what you do, it don't matter who's standing in front of you, you'll knock them down. <laughs>